own ancient Egyptian cartouche. Now, a cartouche is a person's name, normally a royal person, like a pharaoh, so you might have to become a pharaoh for the day. A person's name written in hieroglyphs, hieroglyph um, comes from the ancient Greek for holy writing, um, written in hieroglyphs with a magic protective line around the outside. So if you're looking at some carvings on the wall of a tomb and you see some hieroglyphs grouped together with a line around the outside, then that tells you it's a person's name, probably a royal um, pharaoh, somebody very important. So we're going to be using pewter and as you can see it's got four sharp pointy corners so the first thing you need to do is get rid of those corners. So protect the table with your mat, mat on the table, pin down the sandpaper so it can't move around and then sand away those corners I'm checking it yeah that's nice and soft and rounded move on to the next one and keep going until all four corners are lovely and soft and rounded if it feels sharp or prickly do it some more now you might be able to see that I'm not just rubbing backwards and forwards here, I'm also, you see my arm is going backwards and forwards, up and down. That's what gives it the nice curved effect there. Last one. Okay, good. So what I'm gonna do now is practice because um, you're going to be using a sharp pointy metal tool in a moment to carve and engrave your hieroglyphs into this metal, into the pewter. And um, because you're scratching onto metal, you can't just rub it out when you make a mistake. So I think practicing first is a really good idea. So we'll put this tool to one side and on a piece of scrap paper, draw around your piece of metal two maybe three times oh actually four is probably good We've got practice twice for the front and practice twice for the back now doing a border around the outside um is a good idea so if i go along the top there probably i might do pyramids along the bottom and the rays of the sun up the top i think so that's my front do i like that one i'm not sure i might bring that down a bit yeah happy with that and maybe a serpent along the bottom on that one see which one i like best in a minute um, now, the cartouche bit. Remember, it was your name in hieroglyphs with a protective line around the outside of them. So these are going to have to be really, really small. If your name's quite long, um, like my full name uh, is Corinne, C-O-R-R-I-N-E. Um, so that's far too many hieroglyphs to try and carve onto this tiny space here. So I would use my nickname, which is Coz, C-O-Z. Um, but to make sure I can fit everything in, first of all, draw the protective line. This is my front, so I'm practicing twice. Um, but right, okay, here we go with the hieroglyphs, C, O, Z. You can do it any way you like, they don't have to be red from left to right. That's the interesting thing about hieroglyphs, that's why it was so hard to work out how to read them. I quite like the one at the angle, actually. Um, okay, and on the other side... So that, that's the front. Um, on the back, hmm, I think on the back I'm going to do lines down the side, zigzag patterns. 
um, and a scarab beetle. Front legs up, back legs down. Okay. Oh, and maybe a picture of the sun. Raw. Okay, good. So now it's time to start carving. Now, uh, remember, you've only got one of these each. So go slowly and do it lightly to begin with. So I think which one of my front... I'm going to go with that one. So copying that one. There was a line across the top. So I'm going nice and slow. Not pushing too hard at the moment, just in case I make a mistake. And then I've got a line across the bottom. And then I've got my protective line, which makes the cartouche. Okay, so you can check. I can only just see it. So in a moment, when I'm happy with the design, I'll go over it so it's deeper. In go the hieroglyphs, holy writing. Okay, Z. And then rays of the sun up the top. Sun god Ra is very important to the ancient Egyptians. Okay, well that's not too bad on the front. So I'm going to turn it over and do the back. So on the back, I can see I've got line oh look you can use the sandpaper as a ruler on that side on that side that way up and then I had zigzag patterns down the side I'm doing mine quite quickly because I'm demonstrating and I know you'll be keen to get started If you go nice and slowly, there's much less chance that you'll make lots of mistakes. And the scarab beetle. Now, there are instructions on the back of your mat here, and it does show you a picture of the scarab beetle, in case you want to copy it, but also of the wadjet, which is the Eye of Horus symbol. Very, very protective, that one. Um, okay, and also I think I'm going to colour in it's not really colouring, is it? Scratching the surface of the metal there gives it, it looks like it's been coloured in. So it looks like I've coloured in pyramids all down the sides. All oh, right, okay. So the scarab beetle start with an oval with a bump on the top for the head, line down the back, and then it's got two legs at the front going up and four or two on each side on the back okay good oh and then i had a picture of the sun at the bottom okay good i'm going to turn this over and go over this side nice and deep So let's get this threaded up now. With your necklace thread, hold the two ends together like this and you've got a loop hanging down. Now to do your knot, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna wrap that down, up to make a rabbit's head. And then, a bit of nastiness coming up here, here we go. Grab the ears and poke them through the side of the rabbit's head. It's not a real rabbit, don't worry. And pull like that. I'll show you once more. Okay. End of the thread together. Down the front, up the back to make a loop with two long bunny ears.
grab the bunny ears and put them through the hole like that and then pull. Now, it looks as if I've forgotten something, doesn't it? But no, I'll show you a trick. Find the middle and then pinch it. Poke it through the hole on your metal. Open up the rabbit's hole. Then grab the bunny, shove it through the hole and pull. There you go. And then place it carefully around your neck. There you go. I am protected. Cartouche. Good luck with yours. <laughs> <laughs>